from when we started. This is your attack. Um, there are some stuff in there that we'll have to add. Since then at the end, you're gonna go reach tier four, and it should be easy. Uh, you sh I feel that you should have equilibrium green and matter mastery. Matter mastery is gonna make it very easy to clear camp two without even losing a unit if you do it right. And at the same time, um, equilibrium king. Equilibrium green is like for every um, of your units HP, so it's uh, instead of your opponent, it's better on you because you will be summoning an army to actually defend more. And then at the same time, I would put furnace if I was you, so at the end, you can just uh, pile things into it if you have like a uh, cultist mastery or something like that. So let's get into the game. As you see, already I already summoned two of the primary um, defender, which you already have. Though I couldn't put the third one close to the bottom, it would have helped better. But I just go ahead and put it on the right side and make them anti air. That's all you have to do after that. Start heading to the left. You're going to go to the part where they have a death get, uh, ray in there with one of the flyers. I think it's uh, when Hunter is the name of the flyer. So you're just going to go with your, with your ships. Kite the Hunter to the close to the death ray um, um, area where. Um, the death ray summoner and so on. When you kill him, summon one of the Sun Strider, um, claim the well, then go ahead and destroy the Sun Strider ne next to the um, death ray. After that, um, depending on the area, you might want to summon three Wind Reavers, and that will be okay to, you know, defend the first couple of flyers that comes in. If a ship comes in, um, you might summon like these, maybe one more Wind Reaver, and I'm pretty sure that should take care of it. You'll see what happens on. Later on, that one of the, which it didn't happen in the in the last video I did this, um, one of the uh, Ravens uh, ship scout uh, went inside there and did attack me. Bring your death uh, ray into the well. It will start healing. It'll heal so long as you have a friendly unit right on top of it. After that, try to kill the right side. Um, if I'm you, try to kill the bomb that is on the left side before you try to free the. Uh, uh, one of those uh, hostage uh, mutating frenzy, I think it's got to call. Um, so, and then go ahead and clear the whole camp. You're actually going to see that I actually summoned some mana wings, but that's just because I want to make a little bit faster run and stuff like that. You don't have to. It's just going to be a little bit slower, but um, you don't have to summon the mana wings if you don't want to. Just make sure that you're death uh, ray is clearing everything out and make sure you have surge of light you can see the cards in the bottom uh, side that i'm using which uh you have partially the cards that i'm using but once you reach tier four you pretty much end the game because you you already have the ships you already have equilibrium regrowth and all that it's just at the end some of these ships are going to be attacking your your monument so i do advise that you do use the ability of the recycle I mean, I don't know why people don't ever use it or something like that, but you should be able to use it. So as you see, my, one of the Raven Scout did try to kill me. I mean, here, I just let uh, the anti-turret uh, take all the damage while I trail, clear some things uh, on the left side. Um, and there will be some bombs, mines and bombs, on the second area, which you see it. Uh, I just sent a shaman so you know. I, I guess I didn't, didn't, I must have skipped it, but... Just send the shaman and that will be clear easy. Once you actually clear the right side of the, the, the scout ships, just go ahead and drop the breeding ground and summon two or three aggressors. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make it, make three aggressors. Summon like maybe like five to six shamans and the rest are like about four to five uh, wind reavers. Uh, I put like six wind reavers, as you'll see. Well, actually two more after that. But it didn't quite matter because the point of this is just to get really close with the aggressors. Um, the one that I have, the one you have is like freeze. Of just freeze the unit. The one I have actually heals my units. But all I'm trying to do is take control of that well, healing well, um, because otherwise I can't kill these units and so on. And then I make the aggressors go ahead and try to attack the um, what is it called? The uh, the the Nox stripper. Once actually that's clear, you don't even have to sometimes look. They can actually clear everything without your help. So yes, you look over here. I tried with the death rate and the drop ships, and everything on the right side is being cleared by itself. This does not need my presence. So I just focus on this, and as I look at the right, just for a quick second, you can see it that you know it doesn't need my help or anything like that. I actually missed uh, the uh, surge of light, so try not to do what I just did right there. But it really doesn't matter because you're just gonna get that anyway. Um, and you already should be having on top left side a way to start putting the ammo down. 
Once you have the I Amiab mean, Tier 4, you're pretty much done. All honesty. Uh, you're going to see those Raven Scout. They'll tell you where they're, they're coming for. And then you can just intercept them easily. So right here, I just... I destroyed my aggressor. It does a little bit more healing and stuff like that, but I'm just feeding it to the furnace because I want that power back. This is the reason why I tell you that, you know, it, it'll be really nice if you get your furnace or flesh. And then I just destroy everything else. I destroy the, the death one. I don't need it anymore. I got ships. I got giant worm. I got clear and revenge and all that shit and stuff like that. Um, you are going to see at one point of the timer that I have 40 minutes on the timer and stuff like that. And that's because I cleared the whole area. I, I felt really bored. Um, but one thing you want to do is if you actually could just going to go ahead and clear the middle, you make sure you actually claim the well in the middle, uh, cause that's where, um, if I don't claim the well in the middle, it doesn't start the end sequences of the, the last, uh, finishing of the map and stuff like that. And here you just see me actually use the recycle because I didn't put our tower in there. I mean, I could have, I could have taken things that I'm not using in here and, and so on to put it there. Um, but you know, like cold sample or anything like that, but whatever. Just go one right ahead and just at, at the end I just clear everything and you have recycle. Um, if your monument dies, you can just use the re the, the ship's ability to heal. They, they can't really die once you have five of them. And a reason why they why they put two frost into shadow when they try to nerf it. Um, anyway, that's all you need to know. To be honest with you, I mean everything should be like s simple, straightforward. Just kill everything. You know? just, basically, you just want to take that well right there on the top left side. And once you actually take that, you actually finish the game. So, uh, I don't think you... This video is very short. It's only about close to seven minutes or so. So, you know, you should be able to have a really good time finishing this map. And maybe I'll work on the other map if you're having trouble or anything like that. Alright, good luck.